Way too many transitions won item set of the year in the 2022 Trackmania Awards, and it was so popular that it also won project of the year, and the creator won item maker of the year. Uh, his name is Juice, and Juice just leaked his next project, and so I figured it was a great time to explain what is way too many transitions, and then show what, what these leaks are. To start, we're just going to explain some terminology around the blocks. So we'll just place a roadblock here, and next to it we're going to place what's called a half bank. And it's called half bank because it's exactly half the angle as a banked block. So we have flat, half bank, and banked. So when we think about banked blocks, it's like the car is driving along the road here, or it's driving along the block. But instead of driving along the block, you could be driving like upwards or like going higher. So this type of block is called a bi-slope. And it's called bi-slope because it's half the slope as an actual slope block. And the slope block, interesting enough, is actually the same as your banked. It's going to be the same angle. And even the bi-slope is the same angle. Like if I was going to rotate this sideways, that's going to be the same angle as well. But just thinking about it in a different direction. In addition to having these different angles, there's also like different, I guess, shapes of the block. So for example, we have our just a straight road here, or you could have a turn, or you could have a chicane. And these are the, the most common shapes, I guess, in the editor. So with every angle, the idea is that you can have one of these shapes, but it's gonna transition from one of these angles to another. A good example would be the flat to half bank turn. So it starts flat, so it lines up with the flat block, and it's gonna end half bank, so it'll end up lining up with a half bank block, but it does that during a turn. And there's also one, for example, that does it during a straight. And recently, in like the latest patch, they also did the same block, but it ends up being a chicane. And this chicane, you'll see that it actually transitions upwards too. So for example, this block here is going to be flat, but that is actually up, the half bank version of that is going to be up one. So not only can you transition like from flat to half bank, uh, you can also go up or down when you're doing that in the same shape. So the turn also has an example of this. So like, for example, this one, you can actually go from flat to half bank, but going downwards. So like this block, instead of going like flat to half bank at the same level, it's actually going down one block and ending up at a lower level. There's so many different combinations here of like you have the different shapes, you have like flat to half bank, flat to bank. Uh, you can also, in theory, go from like half bank to bank. And there are so many of these combinations that are not included in the base set of items. That is exactly the gap that way too many transitions is trying to fill. And in addition to having like all these different shapes, you also have different road shapes. So like, for example, the dirt road has this little curve to it. And the sausage road is going to have uh, or also known as bump road because it has this bump in the middle. And bobsled, of course, has, has its own shape as well. And then you have just your regular platform shape, which is going to be flat. So we have these different road shapes, and then we have these different item shapes, and we have our different slopes. And the idea is that any of these slopes, any of these changes in items could apply to any of the shapes. So let's jump into the way too many transitions item set itself and explain how you select blocks from it. So at the highest level, you're going to see folders that look like this one, where it has like a, just a normal concrete platform. And next to it, we have a dirt platform or a grass platform. So the idea is that you're picking the shape of the road and the surface of the road. And so this is going to have the platform shape. Then this one's going to have road grass, which is a custom shape that Juice created on its own. And then we have sausage, the dirt road shape, and road. Bobsled isn't available at the moment grass shape which is actually going to be a little different shape of the curve than the dirt these are our options for road shapes so we pick the road shape as our first level going into the folder structure and the next one down we want to pick the shape of how the road starts and also the shape of the block so for example I placed over here like a road uh, just we have a straight road we have a turn and we have a chicane so we're trying to pick between those three, and we're trying to pick how the, sh the starting 
range. Uh, so like if we think of one end as the start and the other end is the end, we want to pick how it starts. So is it going to start flat? Is it going to start half bank? Will it start banked? Will it start with a half by slope or will it start with a slope? So once we pick the start, that's like this next level here. So if I go back, so we're going to pick a flat start. Then you want to pick how it ends. So we have flat to flat, flat to half bank right, and flat to half bank left. And the reason you don't see a bank here is because the road shape only goes to half bank left or half bank right. It doesn't actually go to bank. So if you wanted, for example, flat to banked straight, that would be under the platform shape. So the nice thing about the platform shape is that it supports both half bank and bank. And so this gives a lot more options when you're building your track. So we have flat to flat, flat to half bank right, flat to half bank left, flat to bank right, flat to bank left, and then flat to buy slope and flat to slope. So let's say for example, we picked flat to half bank left and we'll just place one of these blocks here to look at it. So it starts flat and the end is the half bank left. And the, like if we picked, for example, flat to buy slope, it's gonna start flat and the end pointed upwards at the buy slope. So knowing the terminology here of slope, buy slope, flat, half bank, and bank, it's gonna help a lot when navigating these folders. So the next level down, so we picked our half flat to half bank left. And the next level down is basically saying whether we want the block to go up or down. So this one says like up to center. So why don't we place one of those? And then next to it, it's gonna be up one center. And then the next folder after that is down one center. And then we have down two center. So in general, everything can either go up two, up one, stay even, down one or down two. Within these folders, there are different lengths. So like this is only one block long and the next one's gonna be two blocks long and the next will be three and then four and then five and then six. So you can see that these are all gonna be the same shape, but they're different lengths. And so that's essentially how the whole thing is organized. Okay, now we're gonna quickly put this to the test. So we'll start with a roadblock and we're gonna end with a half mank. And let's just see how far away we wanna put it. So maybe we put it three blocks away. When we say up one, like this would be up one, this would be up two from the from the starting block. And so we're, we're at up two, up one, up two. So let's put it up two. And we should be able to go find this block to like connect these two. So we're going to go back to our custom items, which is a huge mess. So first we're selecting the road, then we need to sit, select the turn. So there's three turn folders here and we have slope start, half bank start and flat start. So we're gonna go to the flat start. Then we know it's going from flat to half bank right. So then we know it's going up to, and then we just need to pick the size. So we have like one, two, three, four. So it looks like three. So we can select the block and now that matches perfectly. So one of the really cool things is that dirt and sausage have all the same shapes as well and they use the same terminology. If we were going from, for example, a flat sausage block here to, and actually I'll put it right here, to like a half banked sausage block, it's gonna work in the exact same way. I think this was, yeah, that was up one, or up two. Uh, so we can go back to the road and we'll pick sausage and then we'll go to flat start, flat to half bank right, up two, and then it was the third one, and that's gonna connect our sausage perfectly. So everything's organ like nicely organized in this way to help you find blocks. Okay, before we get to the exciting announcement, we first have to talk about transitioning between these different road shapes. And so we'll let's bring up a, a regular road block over here as well. So if you want to transition from your road to a dirt road, that item is here, like that's built into the game. So like this end of it is gonna be flat like a road and then this end will be kind of shaped like the dirt. And sausage and you know every like item basically has that as well where you're transitioning from just a flat road to the sausage shape. And these items, like for example, the sausage items that are built into the game, they're all straight and like they can go up or down, but what ends up being a lot more interesting to drive on is when these are turns. Players have made some custom items. The idea is that you have them 
those transitions, but in different shapes. So like, I just grabbed this custom item and the, right now it's, these transitions are kind of a mess on item exchange. Like you might not, it's not well organized, like way too many transitions are. So this one is transitioning from a sausage half bank to a road half bank. And so that becomes a lot cooler to drive on than just being stuck to these regular transitions. So you may be wondering why not too many of these transition blocks exist, why it's so disorganized and hard to find. And that's because it takes a long time to build custom blocks. Like you have to go into Blender or go into the mesh modeler and make the block. And so what's really cool like with Juice is like, it's like how did he make so many blocks? Well, he posted this video. Uh, why, don't we, why don't we just take a look? Basically how it works is Blender is a 3D modeling tool and you can export items from Blender into Trackmania using the Blender Media plugin, which uses the Nadeo importer under the covers. Blender lets you write code to generate 3D models. So Juice, it's so amazing. He has figured out how to write a script to generate these blocks. So that brings us to the leak. Juice leaked this screenshot of a new Blender plugin that he's working on called TM Shape Generator. The idea is that you can generate these transitions in Blender. And so you would pick the start shape for the block, what shape you want the block to be, and then the end shape for the block, and you can generate that item. So when this comes out, we're just gonna be flooded with amazing transition blocks that people are making and uploading to item exchange.